All right, listen. The title, self-explanatory. Watch episode six of Scissor 7. That's literally it. That's all I need to say. Fucking Netflix series. Literally just go fucking watch it. I just finished it. Again, you know, just fucking watch it, right? That's, that's all I gotta say. That was... Just go and watch it. Don't watch one through five, just six. And then go back to the fucking beginning, right? And the reason for this being... You can click off now. This is just some explanation backstory, right? When I make these black screen videos, right? And these videos for the shows. I usually do videos just to add points where I'm motivated to make them, right? So, like, for example, you know, Shigamori, that was episode eight. This one is episode six. And... I wasn't planning on making them because I'm pretty sure the show is three seasons long. I mean, the episodes are shorter. They're like 12 minutes long. So I wasn't planning on making one till the end of season one. But I just finished episode six and I, I need to make this. So again, and now spoilers off the table, right? You know, if go and watch it. If you haven't or if or if you have, then continue on because I'm going to talk about it. So. For the show, right? Series 7 in general. Pretty, you know, doesn't take itself too seriously. Episodes 1 through 5, you know, evident of that. You know, it seems like the one thing that they have kind of going, right, is they establish somewhat of a rivalry between, you know, 7 and 13, right? But we also, we haven't seen her since. But they've established somewhat of a rivalry. No doubt she'll be a recurring character. But again, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Like the show, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Then you get to fucking episode six. And you have that fucking bombshell. I, it was literally insane. Like, because I was wondering, like, okay, you know, she somehow has the power to fucking paralyze him. So she's just going to, you know, keep him hostage. Like, and basically just to do whatever she wants. But, you know, then she got into kind of her monologue. And then that's, like, it was literally, like, one second before, like, it actually happened and the reveal happened. I was like, wait, no, don't tell me. And then it happened. She takes off the wig and I'm like, you've got to be joking. And we get the flashback and, oh, my God. I was, like, because here, here's the issue. The show itself, like, it doesn't take itself too seriously. So this is something that's literally, like, entirely out of left field. Like, I'm going to be honest, I don't, well, I don't want to say I wasn't too big of a fan of the show, but it's something to where it wasn't the most interesting show I've seen, you know? Because it was kind of like, okay, where is this going, right? You know, is it just going to be a different thing in each part? Like, where is the story? Where is the plot, right? But, you know, what would you call it? Um, then we get this episode, and I'm like, oh, my God. Granted, okay, in the end, they made up for it, obviously, you know? But, again, I, I'm almost, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't kill her. I felt like that would have been, but again, given the show doesn't take itself too seriously, right? It had its, like, one serious moment, and then it's, like, similar to kind of, like, you know, the granny protecting her grandson, but even that wasn't too serious. That wasn't too bad. That was, like, okay, you know, I, I kind of suspected that, you know, she was going to, like, live, right? And that's something where it's, like, okay, at that point, it was just, like, using her own weakness, right? But this was like this bombshell was like oh my god it's just out of nowhere like again it literally is i'm i'm, I'm really disappointed like honestly like because we never fucking see him kill anyone right you know i guess that's going to be the running trope or theme but it's like i feel like if there was any one person like this should have been it and it should have like cemented that and they could have used it as a point for character growth but again i see why they didn't because the show clearly doesn't take itself that seriously but it's like this that fucking part oh my god go well if you made this far i'm presuming one but it's like that was just that was holy shit you know that that was just that was crazy that was just you know oh my god that that fucking that was just like <sighs> jesus christ what's perfect is the parts are shorter the episodes are right you know what was it episode six like they're, like they're only like 12 13 minute episodes so you know it's perfect you it's it's just oh my god i I'm, i really don't have anything else to say for that part just because it's like this is solely what this video is going to be on so yeah i mean just jesus christ you know that that was like that was like i'm surprised i didn't see it coming too because it's like okay you know i think you know it's kind of obvious that she you know, put it on herself, right, but it's like, you know, then you get the reason why it's like, oh, no, but, 
yeah, that's that's really all I've got to say. I mean, that's all I've got. So, with that, I don't really have anything else to say. So, yep, yeah, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.